for renewing our strength every morning, O God, for keeping us alive, for keeping us safe, O Lord. Thank you so much, Father God. Lord Jesus, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, O God, we humble ourselves before you, O God. Patawarin niyo po po kami, Panginoon, sa anumang po mga kasalanan ng aming mga nagawa, Panginoong Jesus. Sinadyaman po namin ito, hindi sinasadya, O God. Lord Jesus, release us from any form of anger, bad thoughts, or anything that is not pleasing to your sight, O God. Lord, release us, Lord, from any pains, hearts, or any negative feelings, Lord, that may harbor in our hearts, O God. Lord Jesus, sanctify our hearts and minds, O God. With the power of your mighty name, Jesus Christ, O God. Lord Jesus, salamat po, Panginoon, sa kapatawaran, Panginoon, at sa inyong wagas na pagmamahal sa amin, O God. Maraming maraming pong salamat, Lord. Panginoon, sa mga oras po na ito, Lord Jesus, ipinagkakatiwala po namin sa inyo ang gawain ito, O God. Ang lahat ng mga babae at lalaki yung gagamitin, Panginoon. Lord, empower them, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. Empower us, O God, with your mighty power, Lord Jesus Christ. Wala po kaming magagawa kung wala kayo, Panginoon. Lord Jesus Christ, we live up to you, Lord, especially, Panginoon, the vessel that you are going to use today, O God, to preach your gospel, Lord. Lord, we ask and pray, O God, in Jesus Christ's name, Lord, that you are going to empower her, O God, with your divine wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, O God. Be your tongue, be, her, be your tongue, Lord, her tongue, Lord. Be your lips, be her lips, O God. Lord Jesus, help, help her, Lord, to speak boldly in your, in your heart, O God. Panginoong Isus, puspusin niyo po siya ng inyong banal na santong Espiritu, Panginoon. Upang mahihayag niya, Panginoon, ang inyong nais, Panginoon, ipaabot sa aming mga puso, Panginoon, sa aming mga, sa mga, sa aming mga buhay, O God. Lord Jesus Christ, gayon din po, Panginoon, ang mga baba at lalaki na rito, Panginoon, upang makinig na iyong salita, Panginoon. Lord Jesus Christ, condition our hearts, O God. Open up our hearts and minds, O God, ang sagayon, Panginoon, ay aming mapagbulay-bulahin, Panginoon, ang inyong salita, ang inyong paparating, O God, na ito ay, na ito ay tumimo sa aming mga puso't isipan, Panginoon, ng sagayon ay aming ikapamuhay, O God. Lord, let the seed, O God, grow in our hearts, O God, upang ito ay magamit, Panginoon, at pamunga, Panginoon, sa inyong ubasan, Lord. Lord, let it be, let it be, much fruit to God in Jesus Christ's name, Lord. Panginoon, tinataas ko din po sa inyo, Panginoon, ang lahat ng department, especially on music ministry, Panginoon. Lord Jesus Christ, empower them, Lord. Empower them with your Holy Spirit, O God. In tune them, Lord, with your choirs in heaven, O God. Lord, renew their voices, O God. Para, Panginoon, makapagpuri sila, Panginoon, ang maayos sa inyo, Panginoon, in Let you alone be glorified, O God. Ama, maraming maraming pong salamat sa inyong banal na presensya, Panginoon. Panginoon, sa pagpapatuloy po, Panginoon, ang service na ito, Panginoon. Let your will be done. Have your way in us, O God. Lord, maraming maraming pong salamat, Panginoon. We stand up by faith through your word that you're going to come to us, Lord. Thank you so much, O God. Ito po ang aming samot na langin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and Amen. Magandang hamon, Church. Ready na po ba kayo na papurihan ng Panginoon? Amen! Pumalakpak po tayo ng malakas para sa Lord. Amen! Hallelujah!
Adoration, prayers of confessions, prayers of thanksgiving, and prayers of supplications. Ba? Alam na, familiar din tayo dyan when we said yung, you know, yung acts, no? Because in prayers, no, you, you don't pray just simply asking for your needs. When you pray, you also pray and adore God. No, when you pray, you pray because you are confessing the sins. No, or shortcomings in your life. So those are, are all kinds of prayers. So to whom we should pray? First, to the Father. No, that's why the Lord Jesus said, "No, 
our Father who art in heaven, no, to our Father, in what manner, in boldness and in confidence, knowing that whatever we ask in His name, He will surely hear us. Amen? But when you ask, sabi doon, <coughs> ask in faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to, to please God. <coughs> Excuse me. And when you ask in prayer, see to it that you ask not amiss. What do we mean by asking amiss? That means you are asking God for something you are in order for your own pleasures. Asking God with the wrong motives. Excuse me. Amen. So, and the Bible has lots of promises for us. No. Concerning prayers, in James 5.16, sinabi doon, the effectual prayer of the righteous man avails much. No? Hearing and knowing all these things. May bago, ba ako sa mga, may bago pa ba sa mga sinasabi ko ngayon? O narinig nyo na noon pa man? Ha? Lahat ito narinig na natin. Lahat ito alam na natin. No, but the question is, how how can we pray in? How can we pray in in spirit? And why is it difficult for a Christian to pray? Madali ba manalangin? I mean, no, madali lang siguro kung puro tayo hingi, no? So, no. In Matthew chapter 21, verse 12 to 16. Okay? So, if you have your Bible, please turn it. No, nagmamadali tayo kasi yung oras niyan. So, in Matthew 21, verse 12 to 16. When Jesus went to the temple, no, with all his authority, anong ginagawa in Matthew 21? Hiko niya yung mga pete, those who are selling doves. No? Pinagpapakawalan niya yun. Di ba? Pinagtatanggal niya yung mga yun. And none, none, of anybody in that crowd na na restrain siya or was na napigilan siya no but rather Jesus did and he declared my house will be a house of prayers okay in that story so una when Jesus went into the temple he purified and consecrated the temple by driving out all those sabi nga you are making this Yung, yung mga dens of robbers itong place na to. He purified the temple by pinatanggal niya, pinagaalis niya yung mga bagay doon na hindi dapat na nandoroon. No? The same with our life. When we come to our to the Lord, when we come in prayer, there are things in our lives that needs to be purified. There are things in our life that needs to be needs to be tanggalin. Remember because the Bible says Sin separates us from the Lord. Okay? That's why we ask and we pray the prayer of confessions. Asking God for forgiveness. Asking God for, for Him to cleanse us. Okay? So, we purify and then declaring. And Jesus said, This house will be a house of prayers. No? When Jesus declared it, it, and with all his authority, anong sumunod na nangyari? Based on the scriptures. No? And sabi doon, blind and the lame, they came to Jesus, and those blind and the lame are healed. No? Lahat sila ay gumaling. Because of that, because of that prayer, and declaring it's a prayer, it became the, the power of God released at that moment. No, tulad din natin, when we pray, we don't pray just because we ask God something. No, we don't pray 
but rather we pray because we want His power and His presence in our lives. Amen? So, Jesus purified, He prayed, and then the power came. And after that, even in that story, ano sumunod na nangyari doon? Then the children shouting in the temple of courts, no, Hosanna to the house, I mean, Hosanna to the son of David. Because after the prayers have been answered and the power has been released, what comes next is rather than to praise God. Amen? Praise. No? When power has been released, parang kagaya natin, when, when our prayers have been answered, do we stop? I mean, what, what the next thing that we do? We pray the prayer of thanksgiving. Man? So, how do we describe Jesus' life? We know He is the prayerful man. No, in Mark 1.35, Mark 1.35, sinabi doon, Jesus rose up early to pray. So, kung mayroon, kung siguro, kung hindi, kung hindi describe yung routine ni Jesus, no, tayo, di ba, may routine din tayo sa buhay? Anong, anong ginagawa natin? Pagising sa umaga. Ah, sa, sa umaga. <laughs> diba? Pagising sa umaga. Di ba? Ano unang ginagawa natin? Of course, maybe some of us, pagising pa lang, before pa man, ihakbang ang mga paa, paglapag dun sa kama. I, I've seen people like that. I've seen person like that. The moment when they are awakened, no, they started to pray. No? But I've seen people sometimes, no, at ako rin minsan, pagising sa umaga, no, ay, ang ulam mo may isa, may isip na yung almusal mo, pasok mo, gagawin mo, di ba? No? Lalo na pag nagising ka pa ng alanganin, hindi nagising ang alarm, alarm clock. No? Mas nauna ka pang magising sa alarm clock mo. Diba? Nagmamadali ka na. Okay? No? And pumasok sa trabaho, pagkatapos, pagpasok sa trabaho, kumain, pagtapos, natulog, ang nasabi na lang, thank you, Lord. Diba? Hello? So, remember, but Jesus' life is not like that. He started the day with prayers. After praying, He went to teach and do miracles. And after that, at the end of the day, he start again, no, to pray and thanking God for all the things he has done. Amen. No, one one of the the disciples asked the Lord, no, when the disciple asked the, the Lord, no, they can ask anything, but when they heard it, when they come to Jesus, they said, Lord, please teach us how to pray, no. Because the very important thing for us Christians is not the ministry. It's, it's not how you well to do. No? Mara, kung ano yung mga works mo. Ano. The first thing, the primary things that God wants us to do and want us to do is that to have this intimate relationship with Him. And we do that by constantly in prayer. No? Marahil kung siguro, kung tatanungin natin ang ating mga sarili, no? how much I pray. No? Or, of course, wala namang, ano yan, hindi naman yung pahabaan, hindi naman. Yung, but, how passionate you are in your prayer. No? How is your prayer life? No? To pray in the Spirit, to pray in the Spirit means that to let the Holy Spirit lead you to prayer. Submitting yourself to the, His will and desiring to prayer. No? Praying in the Spirit does not necessarily mean in tongues alone. No? Kasi may narinig ako nun eh. Uy, ano, nag, 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 ano siya, nag-pray siya, iba yung prayer niya. No? Ano yan? Uh, praying in the Spirit siya. Yes and no. No? Yes, the Lord says pray in the Spirit. That means praying in different tongues. Because, you know, when you pray no, in, in tongues, you are edifying yourself and at the same time, 
you are talking a heavenly language or maybe it's an earthly language but it's the spirit is it's doing it in your life pero masasabi ba natin how about if the person does not pray like that masasabi ba natin na he is not praying in the spirit of course not no Pray in the Spirit means that you are praying in accordance to His will and according to His purpose. Praying in the Spirit means praying with His words that was in your heart. Remember, Pastor, because the inner man that is that the question is, talking about you know, for me so look for love for the Lord okay some Christians don't pray because you no know, they perverted their priorities you no know? yung priorities mo no, the, the, the word says, put God first. In everything you do, put God first. And He will crown your efforts with success. Put God first. No? Do you put God first? No. Praying in the morning or even in the evening, that is, no, you priority small. Is it your priority to pray? No? Siguro kung titignan natin, siguro kung lahat talaga ng kristyano ay nananalangin, no? Matagal na sigurong na-rapture talaga ang church. No? But nevertheless, no. No? Or maybe because lahat naman tayo nananalangin, but then, uh, how do we pray? Kamo sa prayer natin? Is it our prayers? Lord, bless me. Uh, forgive me. Lord, use me. Me. Me, me, diba? Diba? Minsan, pagka, pagka naririnig, minsan din, no? Sometimes, we cannot deny it. Because sometimes, I'm hearing myself like that. Lord, me, 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 me. Diba? Hello? So, some Christians, it's hard for them to pray because they have been used to live a life without prayer. Alam mo yun, yung wala na, contento ka na lang. Parang, masaya naman, wala namang nangyayari yung ano, kakaiba or something to worry about. So, patuloy lang. Diba? Living a life without prayer. You know, this week, this week, and I don't know if it's if it's uh, just me or something. Or no, I don't know. I don't know. I cannot even explain to my. And I'm not sure kung bakit. But this week, I never read the Bible, and I never pray. You know, parang pero tuloy ang buhay. Tulog ka, gising ka, pasok ka sa trabaho, kumita ka, naranasan mo, may mga... Very, tuloy ang buhay. Tuloy ang buhay. No reading of words, no praying. Tuloy ang buhay. Salamat sa Diyos, humihinga pa ako. Nandito pa ako. Pero deep inside, para kang patay. Para kang walang hininga. Kinakapos ka. Walang say-say. No? Some Christians are used to live like that. Or are living a life like that. Without prayers. Ihatil na nagpa-pray naman ako eh. Pax sa umaga. Lord, gabayan mo ako. Gabubla, I pray for my family. No? That is not the kind of prayer. That is not the praying in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit is that you are communicating with God. Not just of all your desires, 
Not of all, not of all the things that you wanted to happen in your life, but praying as in commun communing with His Holy Spirit, experiencing His presence in your life, enjoying. No, tulad ng isang mag sweetheart. No, in Corinthians, di ba? At the end of it, yung benediction sabi don. Benediction, benediction, benediction. The love of the Father, the grace of Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be upon you. And prayers like that. Some Christians, they don't pray because they don't believe God hears their prayers. God hears every prayer. And God answers every prayer. You know, even though, di ba sabi natin sa discipleship, I ask you, where is the God the Father? God Father is in His throne. Where is Jesus Christ? He is sitting at the right hand of His throne. No? Don't you know that even though Jesus was there sitting at the right hand of His Father, no? He is still and continually praying for us. His life ministry in earth is not finished. Even seated at the right hand of His Father, He is still ministry, doing the ministry of prayer. And that is interceding for us. No? Hebrews 7.25 says, said, Therefore, He is able to save, to save completely those who come to God through Him because He always lives to intercede for them. Jesus, no, when He talks to Peter, reminded him of Peter, Jesus assured Peter, Peter, I am praying for you that your faith will not fail. The Holy Spirit given us and enabled us to pray. That's our text. Teaching, teaching us to pray. We do not know what to pray, but the Holy Spirit enabled to teach us and help us in praying. Ano lang ang part natin doon is for us to have a time with Him. No? The Holy Spirit births us the desire to pray. And as we obey, you know, having this desire to pray, as we obey, the desires becomes matured and it turns in and moves into a holy place of discipline. A desire can you know, becomes a discipline. That means you are having the routine, disciplining yourself to pray and sat with the Lord. And as we continually praying and disciplining ourselves, that discipline will become a delight. A delight to pray. That when we that when we come to pray, it is no longer a struggle. <coughs> Excuse me. It is no longer a struggle. It is no longer a burden, but a delight. You know, yung parabang sa tagpuan nyo, sa place nyo, gusto mo, makikita mo yung minamahal mo, makakausap mo siya. Di ba? Pag, lalo na, kung nararamdaman mo na parang malayo, no? Pero dahil mayroon kayong secret place, Meron kang time to spend with Him? Maybe this is a challenge for us. No? For you, for me. As 
asking ourselves, how much really, Lord, do I love you? Amen. Let it be a desire, a disciplined life, and a delight to pray. Knowing, knowing, knowing that God Himself, the maker of the universe, the maker of heaven and earth, you know, is also longing for you to have fellowship with Him. Not just during Sunday service, not just during your ministry, not just during your Bible study, or not just during the prayer meeting, but a consistent daily life. No? May nakita kong post sa isang Facebook na karaan. Marami ang gustong pumunta sa langit. Pero, kakaunti lang naman ang pumupunta sa prayer meeting. Diba? Lahat gusto pumunta sa langit. Pero, papuntahin mo sa prayer meeting. Pahirapan pa. Hello? Let it be a part of our lives. Amen? So pray. Do not forget. No, in the armor of God, it was enumerated lastly. But I don't think so. And I believe the very first thing that a Christian do in order for him to really defeat the enemy is not just to put all the armors of God, but the moment when he kneeled down and prayed and asked the Lord God, then he already won the battle. Remember Daniel? In, 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 his, in, in, in the book of Daniel, Daniel, the moment you desire in your heart and the moment you purposely say in your heart to seek God and His will, the answers has already been given. What makes it delay? Well, because of, we know the scriptures, the principalities of the heirs, but nevertheless, Daniel still persisted, persuaded, and, and endured, no, persevered to pray until the answers was already laid down at him. Hello? If there is one thing that we need to learn, is that we need to learn how to pray. If there is one thing that we desire in order for our ministry, in order for us all to be grown, that is to pray. Because praying is indeed asking God To be with you all the time. Yes, His presence is always all the time with us. Yes, His goodness is always all the time with us. No? But to receive, we do it by asking God and through prayers. Pray not just for yourselves, but pray also for others. Pray for the enemy. Pray for those people who have persecuted you. Pray for those people who are against you. No? We don't just pray for our loved ones. Pray for those people who are in the authority. No, in, in, in Timothy says that all be, prayers be made known to all men. Pray. No? Enlarge. No? Or, no, add to your list of prayers about the needs of others. Not just your needs. 
No, like, like I said in the prayer meeting, sometimes when we pray for the needs of others, you will be surprised. Even without asking God, your needs are already been met. Amen? Amen? So, yeah, we, it's all, all time. So, shall we rise up on our feet? No. No. Maybe we all have this prayer. No. Talk. Talk to you, God. We all can talk to our God. Each of us have a direct access to Him, to His throne. We don't need someone to mediate or intercede for us. No. I mean, I mean, yes, Jesus Christ is interceding for us. He is the mediator. But when to ourselves, when we talk to God, no, we can approach His throne directly because all of us has given access through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen? Father, thank you so much, God, Lord, for reminding us, Lord, about the importance of prayers in our lives, God. Lord, we pray, Father, oh God, Lord, that this is not just a, a sermon or reminders for us to hear, but Lord, that everything that we have heard and we have learned for today, oh God, Lord, let it be, Lord, uh, uh, planted in our deep in our hearts, oh God, and be applied in our lives, oh God, Lord. God, apart from you, we can do nothing, oh God, Lord. And we cannot receive unless we ask to you, oh God, Lord. So, Lord, Father, I ask, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name, oh God, Lord, that the desire to pray, oh God, Lord, will not just remain a desire, oh God, but let it be an action, oh God, Lord, an action, a decision, and a will, oh God, Lord, to yield, oh God, Lord, and to find a moment, a time, oh God, to spend alone with you and praying and communicating and talking to you, oh God, Lord. Lord, let it be in our hearts, oh God, Lord. And that, that time, oh God, when we're spending time with you, oh God, Lord, we will see and we will reflect, oh God, Lord, your light and your, and your glory in our lives, oh God, Lord. Like Moses, oh God, when he spent so much time with you, oh God, Lord, Lord, your light and your glory shine upon his face, oh God. Let it be also in our lives, oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, oh God. So that power, oh God, Lord, the power that comes from you, oh God, Lord, will come into our lives, oh God, Lord, and will be released in our lives, oh God, that it will bring you more praises and more glory, oh God. This, Lord, we ask and we pray in Jesus' mighty name, oh God. Thank you so much, Father, oh God, Lord. God, I even pray, oh Lord, that no... No matter how many hindrances or obstacles, Lord, or many uh, difficulties in our lives, God, it will never be, oh God, Lord, away or prohibiting us from, from drawing more near to you, God. I ask all these things, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name, oh God, that the moment when we wake up in the morning, oh God, Lord, the moment we speak the very first word that will come into our mouth, oh God, and that is your name, O oh Lord. And that we lay down on our bed, oh God, after all the activities during the day, O oh God, Lord. The very last word that will come, so oh God, from our mouth, O oh God, Lord, is that the word of thanksgiving, O oh God, Lord. Lord, this is all we ask and we pray, O oh Lord. Like you said, Lord, your church, your house will be a house of prayers. Let it be, O oh God. Let it be, O oh Lord. Let your kingdom be established in our hearts. This all we ask and we pray, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, O God. And as we leave this place, O God, Lord, I pray, as I always pray, O God, Lord, that we will never walk the same, O God, Lord. And in each Sunday that we spend our time here, O God, Lord, Lord, there will always be a constant changes and growth in our lives because that it is your will O oh god lord that we should grow in grace and in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ until the time O oh god lord that we beheld and reflect your glory we reflect the image of our lord jesus christ oh god this lord we ask and we pray O oh god and as we pray, O Lord, 
Let your presence, let your power be manifested in our lives, God. Just like you said in your promises and your words, God, that signs and wonders will follow after us, God, Lord. Not by our might, not by our own will, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, God, Lord. Bless each and every one of us, God, Lord. Bless each and every one of us, God, Lord. And thank you, Father. With all these things, thank you. Let the communion, let the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be always be upon us. The grace of Jesus Christ and your love be constantly abiding in us. And help us, God, Lord, to bend our knee before you. For you said, Lord, anyone who is bending before you, God, Lord, can stand against to any man or to any enemies that we have in this world. We thank you, we praise you, and we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Happy Sunday, everyone.